Market Prospects, delivering timely information and education to prairie farmers for 30 years. Market Prospects is brought to you by the University of Saskatchewan's Department of Bioresource Policy, Business and Economics and these sponsors. Log on to marketprospects.usask.ca to view past programs and for information on upcoming programs. Well, this week in our Market Prospects segment, a look at SAS Canola and Farmers Investment. Joining us in studio is Janice Tranberg, Executive Director with SAS Canola. Ms. Tranberg, great to have you on FarmGate. Thank you. So what is the purpose and the history of SAS Canola? Well, the Saskatchewan Canola Development Commission, or SAS Canola as we call it, uh, was established in 1991 and, and it's really to represent some 26,000 canola farmers across, uh, across the province. Really, you know, with the number of farmers that we have in the levy dollars, we want to make sure that their voices are heard on a national scene. We want to make sure that there's a leadership being provided and direction. So why is SAS canola important to farmers and how do you address their interests? Well, in, in Canada, for example, about 45 to 50 percent of the canola that's produced in Canada comes out of Saskatchewan. So it's very important. And uh, we also know that about 90 percent of our exports, 90 percent of the canola that's grown is exported. So it really does bring a lot to the Saskatchewan and the Canadian economy. Um, when you take a look at investment for the levy dollars that, uh, that the farmers provide to SAS Canola, we invested in, in various areas, advocacy, um, market development and research, and we currently have about an $18 um, return on every dollar that's invested in agronomic research. Now SAS Canola recently uh, launched a new strategic plan. What's involved in that strategic plan and, and what is its overall mission then? Well, you know, um, so a strategic plan is like a road map. It helps us determine where do we put our time and our resources and it helps to make sure that um, we as staff and directors are aligned in what it is that we want to do. And um, we've, we have a, a vision. Our vision is growing producer prosperity. And this really talks a lot more than just Saskatchewan and canola. It talks about producers being farmers of all crops and being important to all of Canada. And the, you know, the other key thing on that vision is the word prosperity, because it's really more than profitability. It's more holistic. It's about uh, being leaders in your community, and it's about mentorship, and it's about providing value along the whole canola chain. So that's our vision, growing producer prosperity, and then our mission is um, to provide canola producers um, value in the areas of advocacy, research, and market development. No, there are a number of areas in the strategic plan. How do those areas benefit farmers, and what, what are the areas, I guess? Yeah, so we have four main areas that we've decided um, are our priorities. So one, obviously, is research. Research is, uh, is a good portion of our budget goes to that, and it's really about decreasing um, producer production risk, increasing sustainability, and fostering innovation. Um, the other areas include things such as advocacy. So advocacy has two parts. One is policy development, regulatory, making sure that there's a good landscape for farmers um, in the area of new, new policy direction. But the other one is about increasing awareness um, within the community and, and both urban and rural about what agriculture is and why it's important and what canola plays in that. So the third one then is um, producer engagement. This as well is very, imp very important because um, if we don't have a two-way conversation, we have to make sure that our canola producers understand what it is we do, the value they get for their levy dollars and have um, ultimately continue to provide those levy dollars. But we also need to make sure that we're judging what's important to them and that the things that we're doing are things that they put value on. And then the fourth area is canola promotion. And it's really about increasing awareness, understanding, and ultimately demand for both canola um, oil and canola byproducts, value-added products. So how can producers best engage and uh, get involved with SAS Canola? 
Well, you know, there's a lot of ways. I'm, I'm learning more and more every day. There's so many ways. But, you know, things such as signing up for our um, SAS Canola Watch that comes out, uh, or our SAS Canola Update, sorry, that comes out regularly, or the Canola Watch. Um, we're launching a brand new website, so we're going to have more on that. There's Twitter, social media aspects around that. We have some radio shows that go out regularly on uh, CJVR and CJWW. We also have um, areas such as um, the crop sphere in the fall, and we're looking at launching a new area called Oil Seed Days. We're not sure on the name yet, uh, but uh, it will be producer meetings that will go out into the community, and it will be a combination of various oil seeds and the research that's happening around that. Because that really is key, that, that the research, the investment that, that we do, that canola producers are able to take that and use that information on their farm. Well, fantastic information and insights. Uh, thanks very much for coming on FarmGate. Thank you. Okay, we'll take a break again. We're back in two minutes. Please stay with us.